Welcome. This is a first for us, a bit of an experiment if you like. Just an opportunity to try and get some information home to you in an effective modern manner. We thought we'd do a video newsletter rather than a written newsletter. Don't worry, you'll still get some written newsletters, heads up. But we thought we'd try and do this once a fortnight to give you some information about the school. Firstly, have a log on to the Ofsted website and have a look at the data dashboard for Archbishop Billsley. We are so pleased with what's there. You can see improvement in every single category. So thank you to all of you as parents for the hard work you put in. Thanks to your children and thanks for the hard effort of the teachers. Look, take a really close look at science. Our science department is now ranked as in the top 20% of science departments in the country. That's a phenomenal achievement for Mr Ashton and all his team. Also have a look at attendance. We are way above national average for attendance. That's a fantastic achievement. Look closely at where we can uh, compare to all schools, not to similar schools. It's all schools is the category that counts and you'll see that we've risen to good or better in all categories. As you know, we're still waiting for Ofsted to call. We've been waiting every week of this term so far and it looks like we're going on waiting for some time. We're confident that when they come, we'll achieve at least good. Our latest data, the Ofsted data dashboard and the section eight report, which you can find on the school website, all indicate that we're making good progress on our journey to good. When we get the call, you will know straight away via text, via the website, and via Twitter. We'll also send a letter home to you. I would ask you to have perhaps go on and have a look at where you can make comments on the school website. This term is a really important term for those students in year 11, 12 and 13 as they prepare to sit their public exams. The indications from the mocks suggest that we're on track, in fact that actually we're exceeding the targets for most students. It's really important over the last weeks of the role that you as parents play in helping them to prepare for those exams. Stress doesn't help. Stress makes pupils underperform. So although I know you'll be interested in what they're doing, please don't put them under too much stress. Just think of those moments when sometimes you go to the cash point and there's a queue of people behind you and then all of a sudden your turn comes and you can't remember your pin. That's what happens in stress. You can't remember what you know. So try your best not to put your, uh, your sons and daughters under too much stress as we approach the exams. Make sure they have a healthy diet and make sure they do a bit of exercise. Build treats into their revision sessions because if you over revise, you can do more damage. A couple of weeks ago, you may have seen an article in the Evening Mail about Archbishop Illsley. I would ask you not to read the headline, but to read the article. I was very disappointed by what the Evening Mail said, and I have written to them and had a, a, an apology from them about the contents of that article. They came into school that day and spent an hour with some of our 11, Year 11 students, and also with some of our sixth form students who'd been doing the charity work for brushstrokes. They took photos, they interviewed the students, and then on the way out, they asked me if they could take a photo and have a few words, which I dutifully did. I was really disappointed to see that the focus of the article was me and the words I'd said, and all of the other good work was omitted. However, in that article, it indicated that we were going to become an academy. But if you read what I said, I don't rule out at some point in the future Archbishop Bills to become an academy, but that's not happening in the foreseeable future. And if it were to happen, then you as parents would be the first to know about that. We'd contact you and ask you your views. This term, we've introduced a change to the school uniform. And I think the students wearing their blue summer shirts look, look absolutely fantastic. I think some of them are waiting for others to wear them, but those who are wearing them do look really good. They've got their house badge on and I think they look really smart. So thank you to all parents who got involved in that. The Year 12 students have produced the second edition of the Illsley Voice. If you haven't seen a copy of this, I suggest you do so. It is a fantastic production and really a vibrant portrayal of life at the school. 
A real thank you to Paige Dent and all her team who've put this together over the past few months. We're also looking forward to another cup final. As you know, last year we were really successful winning the Villa Cup. This year, our year nines are through to the final of the cup to play Thomas Aquinas in the next week or so. Please come along and give your support to the lads and let's hope they are as successful and retain that trophy. Well, this is me just signing off on this first video newsletter. I hope you enjoy it and we'll do another one in a couple of weeks time. Thank you very much.